Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This is gonna be for the week of the 13th, going to the 19th of December. I'm gonna go straight into your reading, my lovelies. I apologize about the lighting. Again, it's getting dark here. It's the winter months now, so the days are shorter. Um, but let's just go into your reading here, guys. Let's see. You don't need to see me, it's fine. <laughs> I hope the camera quality is better than what I'm looking at though, because it's terrible. We move. As long as you can hear me, it's fine. Ew! All right, we have some... <laughs> we have some secrets. Now, I don't know if it's you or someone else. Let's, uh, let's talk about it, though, because this could very well be people who are jealous around you here. There is uh, a little bit of... Now, this person's not saying anything. I feel like they're kind of suffering in silence about... Someone's watching you, though. Libra, someone's watching you with the Page of Swords. They are emotionally, um, I'm hearing corrupt, emotionally corrupt. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of chaos in this person's mind. They're very immature, but it's almost like they're not saying anything though with this um, high priestess. Could be Cancer or Pisces. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Now for others of you, this isn't someone else around you. One thing I will say is within this week, expect there to be quite an emotional time. Why? Because subconscious stuff is coming through and it's resurfacing for you to deal with it. Be careful about triggers. Why are my lights turning off? <laughs> Spirits are here. Be careful of triggers around this week if this is uh, what we are in. But it does feel like there's some people around you who are testing you. Can we clarify about this page of swords? Yeah, there's some gossip going around. Be careful of who you're trusting this week. Now, I don't want to scare anybody. Take it as it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, then it's not your message. Don't come at me. All right, go switch off and go somewhere else. But with the Page of Wands, yes, this is someone, maybe a fire sign. There is gossip going around. Someone speaking about you, Libra. Who is this? We have, uh, this could be an earth sign. This is someone who's hurt. Someone who's hurt by you could be a Virgo. Taurus Capricorn here, someone's hurt. Mmm, someone is hurt by you. I do feel like they're coming to you and saying things, but it's almost like I'm hearing kind of like indirectly talking about things that um, has kind of like, a, all right, so we've got triggers upon triggers here. They're triggered by you, you're triggered by them. I don't know what's going on here, especially because my lights are going out. Ah! What's going on? Clarify with the Page of Swords and the Moon. Who is this person? Hmm, so this is communication. We have the Eight of Wands coming in, which is actually a good sign. Let's talk about it. Oh my God. This could be some issues around money. Um, we have the Capricorn energy. We have the Devil card coming through and a Ten of Pentacles. It's kind of like superficial stuff. There's something superficial coming in. There could be some worries about money. There could be some, uh, yeah, there could just be some worries about money. If this is subconscious beliefs again, then there is some issues about money here. I feel like what, what we need to do if we want an abundance of it is to no longer see it as a root of all evil. Trust me, a lot of people see it that way. And I understand. I really do understand. However, something we cannot change right now, what we can do is start to see it as a good thing. Money is just a tool um, that we can use for the better. And just because some people use it for bad things doesn't mean that we um, use it for bad things, right? If, if you wanna use money in a good way, then use it in a good way. I do see you attracting an abundance. The Eight of Wands is about movement, but I just feel like there is some hidden feelings around money or around a, a home situation or a, around something here. Um, and it is kind of stemming, it's turning into a confrontation of some kind. Let's just talk about, yeah, because there's a bit of confusion. I would say get on the same page as somebody before we jump to conclusions here. Now, this is going on both ends. I feel like we're mirroring each other, you and someone else. Seven of Cups, again, there's a lot of confusion, a little bit of misunderstanding here. We have the Two of Cups, the Lovers, and the Hierophant. Look at this. I see love, I see connection, I see communication, and healthy communication if we're coming from a similar um if we're on the same page, at the moment we're on different pages, we need to make sure we're kind of laying a solid foundation before we start assuming on both ends. This is for you and the person that you're dealing with here, okay? Lots of love coming in, a lot of love. This is uh, great for contracts, great for uh, new beginnings in terms of love. You and someone else have very strong feelings and a connection towards each other. Very strong. We have all the soulmate cards coming through in that moment when I'm asking what's going on between the two of you. But there's just some confusion here about something. 
Now, eight of wands coming in, there will be some clear communication coming in and it will be in the same direction. You'll be on the same page as this person. Can we clarify this devil energy? Oh, great. Oh, if anything is going to trump the the, um, the devil card, it is the, um, it is the Sagittarius energy, the temperance card here. There is a balance, so don't worry. Anything that is... Um, if there is any problems, I feel like this is you and someone else working as a team, but there is some problems arising within this again because there feels like there is a negative voice in the back of both of your minds. That both of you are hurt and confused about something here and you're misunderstanding each other's emotions and this is causing a little bit of drama. But there is reconciliation here between the two of you here, okay? Maybe some time apart is needed so that you can both be on the same page. The Two of Pentacles, again, is about balancing each point of view. It's about a compromise. It's so dark in here. I'm, <laughs> what's going on? My light is getting like dimmer and dimmer. Hmm. Clarify this Three of Swords. Hmm. Someone is hurt. Someone is hurt here because they, they feel like they have to make some serious decisions and they don't know what to do or don't know what to think. Yeah, about new beginnings here. Again, there could be some money problems coming in that someone is worried about. Maybe they're coming to you for it. or Maybe this is like a joint thing here. There is a new beginning involved, but someone is really struggling to pick themselves back up emotionally. And let's clarify this moon card. We are the, now we have a divine match coming through, by the way. My light's in, increasing again. What's going on? The, there we go. It's almost, yeah. Imagine if that's got some symbolism behind it. Like, it almost feels like there is a lot of, like, light between the two of you, but there are some darker days. It's almost like the, how they're describing this side of your relationship dynamic between you and someone else. Could be a colleague, could be anyone, but this is someone you really care deeply for each other right there's two people constantly on both of these cards you both feel the same way and you both are again on a sim you are normally on the same page but it almost feels like you have very different approaches to resolving something here someone here is impatient with the with the page of swords and very confused with the moon card here this could be on your end by the way i'm not sure who's who but there you go the moon's being clarified by the king of pentacles, which is good because it brings stability to that moon card. Ace of swords, clear communication coming in, clarity, truth, okay, which is um, putting an end to that seven of cups here. Very specific message for some of you. Hmm. Interesting. Anything else Libra needs to know for the week? Ten of Wands, there's been a lot going on in your life, Libra. You kind of feel responsible for a lot of things or that you're having to help everybody with the Ten of Wands um, all by yourself here. There might be a lot that you're having to do within this week. Very busy time for you. Um, but because it's a Ten, it is coming to a completion here, okay? Ace of Cups coming in. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, when we lessen the burdens, whatever this responsibility is, it's about finishing this, closing a chapter. Ace of Cups comes in, love and stability, which is nice. And not just that, we have the chariot, which is about moving forward. And I love this because if there has been, again, two different pages, I feel like we're finally getting onto one page. If this is you and someone else, I feel like we're moving forward with determination and focus and drive. Eight of Pentacles, again, in increasing that income, working hard on the skills, again, keeping busy, but this time it's about passion why because you're actually getting something back from this because you've been doing a lot of work and not seeing a lot of results back this may cause you to be a little bit cranky this week with a moon card or with the three of swords whichever one you are in but there is two aces coming through here which is a new beginning a clean slate and starting from scratch with love with depth with also stability and this is the perfect combination by the way and peace is important to mention here this is a perfect combination because it's air and sorry not air your air, but this is about earth and water, uh, which together, it's like planting a seed and watering it. It's beautiful, actually. And there is Scorpio energy coming through here about transformation and change within a dynamic here. Let's clarify the two of cups. Yeah, five of swords here. There may have been some pain with this situation. The five of swords is normally, again, like walking away from somebody or walking away from something. It's clarifying the two of cups here because maybe you needed a break. You needed to heal something here. 
with the four of wands again likely chance for reconciliation maybe you need to spend some time with yourself with your friends with your family with the queen of cups it's really about kind of again healing that heart space healing that heart space it feels like someone may have taken you for granted or that's what it feels like on it feels as though someone's not doesn't seem very grateful can we clarify why the five of swords is here knight of pentacles it's slow moving that's why Hmm. and again it is again a money card i don't know why it just feels like if there has been any money issues i feel like it is being resolved but again the both of you are mirroring each other whoever you're dealing with libra so i think it's a lesson learned for the both of you and these problems that have come up here whether it's toxic family again some of you will be hearing from these people with the ten of uh, pentacles here there is there is reconciliation in terms of you'll be able to balance and heal from whatever this uh i'm hearing the scorching fire of somebody here could be a fire sign or it could be again capricorn energy coming through <laughs> as i said that the light went lower like low again who is this <laughs> hmm okay so it feels like someone maybe just a bit slow slow moving and this may be making us a little bit frustrated but here we go justice and the ten of cups if you can see this is about happiness this is about fulfillment emotional fulfillment for you and everyone else around you and the justice card well libra that's you i feel like we're bringing peace we're bringing happiness we're making the right decisions and you're calling the shots in terms of how to make the situation better um, I feel like there is some leadership skills coming in for you. I don't know why it feels like you're the one that's making things right. Um, maybe being the bigger person in this situation. It doesn't have to be that, but I just feel like it's because of you that things are working out nicely. Um, whether it's in, again, career, finances, or even just in love or everything, all of the above. Let's see what's going on for Libra, please, for love. Ooh, -hoo, we have romantic feelings. We have passion too. Pull one more out for Libra and love this week. Someone could definitely be making you interested. Here we have romantic feelings, love yourself first, and passion. If you can even see any of these, goodness me. Passion, this is saying, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I kind of feel like this is about passion in life again. This is a really good time. If you are dating, this is great. But if you aren't, then this is a good time to kind of find passion in life. To sing, to dance, to kind of do things to in increase your energy. We have love yourself first. I am so mad that you can't see this. Um, we have love yourself first, which is saying your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, but also is the best foundation for any kind of relationship, okay? Because it removes any codependency. We also have romantic feelings, okay? So someone could definitely be stirring your romantic feelings as well. We do have a lot of these cards coming through here about love. Hmm? I do see love coming in. I do see great connections coming in, but we're just learning about boundaries. We're learning about how to kind of work with this person is what it feels like but it, it will work out i see that 100 percent. okay um this is great for teamwork but just make sure we're on the same page before we make any judgments all right i love you guys i wish you all the best i apologize that you can't see me very well or the cards very well should i say but <laughs> next time i'll be earlier it's only what four it's crazy in the um afternoon anyways love you i'll speak to you guys soon Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you next time.